What's up everyone, I'm back with another scouting report, this time on Waterloo Blackhawks winger Ryder Rolston. He had a solid season in Waterloo, putting up 33 points in 42 games, and he's currently committed to attend Notre Dame next season. At 6 foot 1 and 174 pounds, he definitely has room to grow in terms of filling out his frame. As a result of inconsistencies in his game, as well as a lack of dominating numbers, Rolston isn't expected to be picked until the mid to late rounds in the upcoming draft. However, he has quite a few high-end tools to build off of that make him an intriguing prospect. In the clips, you'll be looking at number 12. Rolston's skating ability is high-end in every sense, especially when you consider his size. The most impressive aspect of it overall would be his agility, which allows him to evade checks and fly around the ice in a fluid, effortless manner. His straight-line speed is impressive as well and allows him to chase down pucks to maintain or regain possession, and to cover for his teammates' mistakes on occasion. Overall, his skating will aid him greatly as he moves up to the college level. Rolston is without a doubt a shoot first player, and considering the caliber of shot he has, I certainly don't blame him. His wrister is just plain nasty and resembles a slingshot at times. He can beat goalies from in tight or from far out. If he gets a good chance, he's gonna bury it. He's a natural finisher, and he knows where to plant himself in the offensive zone. At the same time, him being a shoot first player can be frustrating to watch at times. On many occasions, he would get tunnel vision and would rather take a low danger shot from far out rather than make a pass to a teammate in a better position. He clearly loves to shoot the puck a lot, and has the caliber of shot to back it up like I said, but definitely needs to learn to pick his spots better. With that said, here are some of his snipes from this season. Rolston's passing ability isn't spectacular in any way, but gets the job done for the most part. He can make simple passes to keep offensive cycles going, but has trouble with cross-seam passes or other passes to high danger areas. Overall, I don't think he'll ever be a high-end playmaker, but has the tools to be a complementary piece to an offensive cycle, and keeps the play moving.
Ralston's hands overall honestly leave much to be desired. I saw on multiple occasions him lose possession or even cause offsides as a result of his lack of stick handling ability. This in itself is something that I could see limiting his overall offensive upside, and I hope to see legitimate improvements in the near future. If you look at Ralston on the ice, it's easy to see that he's going to need to bulk up a bit. He would often get muscled off the puck or cancelled into the boards. His physical play is also kept to a minimum at this point. He greatly prefers a poke check rather than a body check to take possession back. He also is definitely too much of a perimeter player and could stand to get to the dirty areas more often. Of course, once he bulks up, the rest of his game should come much easier, especially when you consider his naturally large frame. To finish off the video on a positive note, I'll go over Ralston's overall forechecking and effort in all three zones. He does a great job of using his speed and agility to put pressure on his opponents, and overall positions himself well in the D zone. His effort in transition with and without the puck is also admirable. I saw him strip opponents off the puck on multiple occasions in the neutral zone. His speed and overall motor also help him beat defenders to the puck in dump and chase scenarios, and his agility helps him grind along the boards to keep the offensive cycle going. All in all, while there are some inconsistencies there, Ralston's defensive game and overall effort are in a good spot right now. Overall, Ryder Rolston is a sniper with great skating ability, but limited hands and passing skills. He's competent in his own end and has a great work ethic. His tools overall are intriguing and I would definitely take a look at picking him in the mid rounds of the upcoming draft. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments who you would like me to do next from either the USHL or the USNTDP. Thank you for watching, bye.